Hey guys, uh, Leif here from ATEC Office Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to install the printer driver for the latest Konica Minolta BISAB series. And uh, we're going to do this today using the CD that comes with the machine. There's actually four different CDs there, but uh, the one uh, you want to get out one of the uh, white labeled CDs, the one that says Driver CD ROM Volume 1, and the contents on that CD is the Windows printer driver. So we're going to pop that into uh, your laptop or uh, computer and uh, once you do that and uh, you uh, run the uh, auto run file or it'll just pop up like this. So you get this screen up as the first point and we're going to click on printer install. And uh, once we click on that uh, printer install you get this uh, second screen up with the printer installer wizard so we're going to click agree on the first uh, screen the next option is uh, what product model you're going to install there's two options there there's the 554 series and the 364 series today I'm going to install a C224E so I'm going to select the bottom one and hit next and just leave this as default settings and click next again the system will now search for any any printer on the network that needs installing so this is also assuming I forgot to say that but the uh, computer and the uh, Konica printer needs to be already connected to the same network and you can now see the system found the wizard found one printer here so I'm gonna tick that say that I want to install that one and click next on this screen we're going to select the components to be installed so the default is to just install the PCL printer driver option which is the most common recommended one the second option here is for a postscript printer if you want that installed that's optional you can tick that the bottom one is the fax driver so if you have the fax option uh, enabled on the on the Konica BISAB it's uh, I would uh, recommend to install this fax option uh, which will enable you to fax directly from your PC or laptop so I'm gonna select uh, those two now and I'm gonna hit next and install and we're now just gonna wait for that uh, installation to complete with uh, the two options that I selected the PCL and the uh, fax option and once these two are installed we're gonna get to uh, the next screen in just a few moments there there we go and on this screen here we can review the printer that we've installed or in this case the two drivers that we've installed uh, on here I can select or nominate which one should be the default printer so I'm going to leave that as it is and just a couple of things here you want to change uh, or make sure you've checked before uh, you leave this screen the top one is to rename the printer so it's a handy tool you might want to rename that to like I said before this printer here is a C224E so I'm gonna rename that like that and I'm gonna go into the property of the printer and I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments here one thing that I like to uh, set up is to change the default from color to grayscale printing so I'm gonna go on to the advanced tab I'm gonna click on printing defaults and I'm gonna select because it's actually just behind there the, uh, the printing defaults I normally tick that box to not show that warning message again I select single sided and I select grayscale so that's my default settings so I'm basically changing it from two sided to one sided and from color to grayscale and apply that or click OK and OK again I can also I normally go through all of these so select print settings 
and just confirm that I've you can see I've already changed it to single sided and grayscale so that's good and last thing I can do is print a test page we can go to the printer and confirm that that's been printed and that's it click finish and you're all done this is the easiest way to install a uh, new printer driver on the system and just a note on that this wo works with any windows uh, uh, version so uh, any any windows whether it's 32 or 64 bit or windows uh, 7 or 8 or whatever and uh, that's it talk to you soon